Hello everyone, welcome you all. This is Suresh from Azure Automation Channel. Today in this video, I am going to discuss about how to rerun failed test cases in Selenium Automation. And this topic is most important where we wanted to do a rerun mechanism in, your, in our automation testing so that our automation scripts works in all conditions whenever we have certain things when our test automation will get fail. So we have three parameters. One is a server down issue and network slowness issue and application might be a slow. And we have one more thing that uh, your application might be having a bug. So majorly if application has a bug, then we can directly log a Jira ticket. And if you have these three uh, things like server down, network slowness and application slowness issue, then you, you need to rerun your test cases so that your automation report looks accurate. So if server is down and network is down uh, and you run a thousand test case automation which takes uh, almost uh, uh, five, six hours of time and uh, entire automation scripts got failed because of these parameters and you see all failed uh, report and debugging that will take more time and obviously it's a tedious task again. So if you implement a retry mechanism, obviously it will retry certain times so that if network is slow in one certain time, so obviously it will come up right in the next instant. So in that cases, our automation scripts will execute and test case will get fast. And uh, what are the ways we can do? So in this video, I am going to explain on the test ng retry mechanism. So using a I retry analyzer interface in test ng we can automatically trigger whichever test case is getting failed we can easily trigger them so how we are going to do so let's code it for that so let's begin our practical session let me open my eclipse ide and here you can see i have a Eclipse interface here and I'm opening a project which was previously used. So this is a test ng maven project. So I'm going to use this project. So we have a source test Java and let me open this pom.xml. So in pom.xml we have few things that are test ng and selenium java web driver manager api and we have a surefire plugin and compiler plugin and this is under source test java i am going to create one package package called rerun automation okay and under that i am going to create one class so we need a two class actually so let me create a mechanism where you wanted to retry your failed test cases for that i can say rerun automation scripts and we don't need a main method here so now in this class I am going to use or implement the my I retry analyzer here so for that to implement any interface into our class we use implements concepts here implements I retry I retry analyzer and if you installed test ng then you can see this I retry analyzer so without test ng you can't see it so we have a test ng in the pom.xml right and you will see some errors here so once you mouse over it it will tell you uh, add some unimplemented methods just click on add unimplemented methods and this has only a method called retry that retry accepts the parameter called i test results and it gets false when it gets true so when it returning false then it will retry it keep on retry so we need to explicitly say that it has to return true so that that exit this method and publish a pass results in your report so how to do that so i will show you a simple code here that code is let me create some few required things that is retry count so retry count is equal to i am keeping a zero initially okay and added modifier 
file okay i'm keeping inside this okay i wanted to keep it in outside this letter right now and we need uh, one more to compare so we need to compare our retry count to a max count or we can say max tries so for that also i will use private static final so that my uh, max count will not be updated immediately so i am keeping this into a final here max count equal to how many retries i need to do whenever my test case get failed so for now i will keep five here right and in this i will create a method so that it will try that method and whenever my method returning true it will exit this override method or override method of retry so what i will do i will retry okay my retry count should be less than max count whenever my retry count reaches the max count then it should exit this right and i will create this and i will say retry count should be unincremented so retry count is getting plus plus and as soon as my retry count is less than max count i will return true right so it will reiterate reiterate until it gets true and whenever uh, this complete uh, return if this condition getting failed it will go to false statement here and it will publish the result of it or whenever uh, passed or a test case getting passed then it will stay in this loop here so if I, my test case is getting passed in a first retry obviously that will publish the result so on the test ng results it will say passed right so it will not come into this method retry analyzer method but in case if it is getting failed it will keep on coming into this method and it will reiterate or iterate for five times so first try second try third try after five tries it will execute the exit from this method and it will publish the final result so this is the retry mechanism and let's give a try to create one method i'll create a method called test cases right and finish so here i can give a try of right i have created three methods here before test after test and test methods and in the before test i am going to create a browser initiation here so for that i am using the web driver manager right web driver driver manager dot chrome so let me use a chrome to create setup and let me initiate the web driver on the global level web driver driver right. and using the driver instance driver equal to new chrome driver and in the after test driver dot quit and in the test method here i need to launch the website so driver dot get dot get and in the get statement i'm going to call ps and in the test method i'm going to verify the title so to verify the title verify or i can say title title equal to 
driver dot driver dot get title and after that I'm going to assert that and it use asset equals not asset array equals so here I'm going to call this title here and I'm going to provide uh, dynamically or I'm, I'm providing on the hard coded value so let's say that title is Google I don't know what the title is actually but I just given a Google here so now I wanted to retry this uh, test case if it is getting failed so how can I do it so this is a most important point where you provide the retry mechanism from here so we have a retry mechanism here and we need to call this here so we have a parameter called retry retry analyzer test ng parameter and here we need to provide this retry mechanism wherever you are implementing the retry mechanism you need to call that class okay this is a class dot class and we need to point it right so all errors are gone now I will run this scripts it is running now chrome driver started successfully right so now you can see here it ran for six times not just one because we have only one test case but it ran for six times number of failures are one and retries are five so let's see what all it retried okay now you can see the test method the assertion is expected google but found google so we have provided g in a small case where it is coming as uppercase as google capital g and likewise all the retries so second retry is also same and third retry is also same so all these retries are expecting this if i provide this accurate results matching then okay let's give right. now if i run this test it will pass in the first instance right it has launched the google now it has passed because we have provided the accurate one and no retries here and in earlier uh, case it retried for six times because we have provided the retry count the max count should be a five so every time it will retry and try to see the results are matching or not if it is getting matched it will return true so it will exit exit from here and results will be published based out of test ng results so this retry i retry analyzer majorly works on the your test results so whenever you see passed or failed if you see the failed then it will retry on that failed so test ng uh, we can say status test ng status is passed or failed if it is a failed then it will retry if it is a pass then it will not invoke that method and this is the importance of i retry analyzer and this is asked in interviews as well and people may expect to write this code in the interview or explain this code to them and this is how we perform retry mechanism in selenium automation using a test ng approach i hope this session is useful for you in case if you are new to my channel do subscribe to my channel if the session is helpful for you do post a like and do share with your colleagues. Thank you.